We humans have always loved to create, to invent, to conjure some marvel that changes the world. This is the stuff of genius, except that every now and then our ingenious inventions turn against us, and things go horribly, horribly wrong. And suddenly we find ourselves victimized by techno monstrosities. It's the actual loudest vehicle on the planet. It's my brand new car. If anybody touches it, I want to know that it goes off. And we come to the awful realization that our world is full of inventions we love to hate. Okay, despite every psychic roadblock that's been put in your path, from alarm clocks to leaf blowers to boom cars to parking meters, you got a parking space, and finally you can sit down for that bite to eat. First, don't forget to wash your hands, but what do you discover? Oh, no, a hot air hand dryer. Boy, do we hate those things. How did they ever become part of our bathroom landscape? Hand dryers were supposed to help save the environment. You'd cut down fewer trees to make fewer hand towels and fill fewer landfills. Sounds great. The only problem is hand dryers take way too long and they never get your hands quite dry, so you end up doing this a lot. Today, hand dryers are in less than 10% of public restrooms. And the main reason why you don't see hand dryers in public restrooms is people don't like to use them. Dennis Gagnon hates them as much as you do. And he isn't some band the hand dryer zealot. He owns a company that makes them. When he bought this place, he began a crusade to build a better hand dryer. It just so happened that at exactly that moment, a team of inventors was wondering exactly the same thing. You know, a thing that is a damned annoyance is when you go to the men's room and you wash your hands and then you want to dry them, and there's this air dryer. And it, it's uh, very unpleasant to use. It doesn't work well. And it takes too long. Uh, you got to wait for the thing to And your go. hands are not even dry. And when you through. finish, most of the time your hands are still damp. You end up wiping them on your pants. Yeah, yeah. It has to be something to improve that. Saul Eisenberg, George Friedman, and Richard Pavel are three former rocket scientists who now spend their days dreaming up ways of improving everyday life. They'd already invented a microwave coffee maker, a tornado detector, and a better toaster. And lucky for Dennis Gagnon, the hand dryer was next on their list. And so the inventors came to excel. A circular air outlet with a diameter of no more than an inch. It took endless months of refining to perfect the design. And if we blow off 85... It works in two phases. First, a 100-mile-an-hour blast of hot air blows most of the water clean off your hands. Then, the few remaining drops quickly evaporate. Time elapsed, 10 seconds. About how long it takes to use a paper towel. So we, when we get to that level, we don't have... Sounds fine. But would it blow away the competition, or was it all just a bunch of hot air? After two years of work, at last, the prototype accelerator was ready for testing. And it actually worked, drying hands three times faster than the standard dryer. Now, maybe with this new improved hand dryer, we can save that grove of old growth redwoods. Massachusetts restaurateur Steve Abdov was the first to order Dennis Gagnon's warp speed washroom wonder. His patrons like it, but he's still got one nagging question. I'm not sure what people are doing for their face. So, it looks like a hot air dryer is still no match for a paper towel. Or even your pants. Inventions we love to hate. <laughs>